Hey, this is Ray over here at Namrag Farms. It's the middle of April. Whoo! 37 degrees this morning. I'm telling you, if you don't like the weather in Tennessee, stick around. It'll change. Yesterday, we dove into a little bit of my story from January of 2014. Today, I want to pick it up. I was in the midst of a hopeless situation in my heart. I was without hope. And then I picked up a book. A little book right here, George Mueller. And I began to read it. It's his autobiography. And I had read it as a child, and I thought, hey, I've got nothing better to do on this Sunday afternoon. I'm going to pick it up. Well, for the next seven days, I devoured this book. I read of a man who, when he was young, his father sent him to be a clergyman, not because he, his father wanted him to be a great saint, but because there was good money in being a clergyman. But through the process, a wicked, vile young man, and that's using his own words, was saved and the Lord transformed his heart and then his story was just a life filled of trusting God and it began when he was at a little church and he was a pastor and he decided hey I don't want to take a salary anymore I believe that I should do this on faith so he, he said don't give me money don't pay me and he put a little box in the back of the church and said if there if you fell led to give to the pastor and his wife and their needs just put a little money in there and time and time again they would be in desperate need of money he would go to the box and just what they needed would be there and those were little steps little steps of building faith as the man went through his life he's known as the man who raised 10,000 orphans on prayer and this little book right here I tell you I ate it up because it was story after story after story of a man who says I am going to leave my needs at the feet of God and trust him to provide he said, I tell no man my needs, only my father. He said, because I want the world and I want God's people to know that God still provides. That was the whole point of him writing. This is, this is his journals. And he would mention time and again of, hey, I have this need. And, and I would pray and it showed up. Uh, he, would, he would mention, this is something that is going on. And I, I just left it before the Lord. And God answered uh, little things like... One morning waking up with his orphans and being around the breakfast table and saying, Lord, thank you for the food we're about to eat. And there was no food in the house. And yet, as soon as he said amen, there was a knock at the door. There was a knock at the door and it was the bread man who said, hey, I've got all these loaves here from the bakery. They're going to go bad if someone doesn't eat them. Could you use them? Yes, thank you very much. As soon as they put the bread out, there's a knock at the door. It's the local milkman. He says, my cart just broke down outside the orphanage here. This milk is going to spoil if someone doesn't take it. Could you use it? They thank God for the food they were about to eat when they didn't even have it. And God provided. To the days of when he needed a large sum of money. And George said, Lord, I just lay this at your feet. And he would come home and, and there was a check for that amount of money. But he knew the lady who given it. She was behind her, her creditors. And so he literally took the check back to her and said, you can't give to God until you're free from your creditors. Walking home, George said he knew in his heart he had just given away the money he needed. He goes, God, I don't know how you're going to provide this. I need this right now. When he showed up back at home, there was a man there with a check for the exact amount. He said, God's put it on my heart. I don't know why at this time at night, but I feel like I'm supposed to give this to you. Time and time again, and I ate this story up. And I was just turning to my wife going, can you believe what's going on here? I can't believe God did this. And it sparked in me a new spark. And it was the idea, pray. Take your needs to the feet of the shepherd and leave them there. And that's where we're going to leave it today. And I'll come back tomorrow and share some more of the story. You go enjoy the shepherd and I'll see you soon.